In a world that appreciates only speed, strength and perfection, there are people like me who have a face in a different journey. Hi, I'm Manju Dashneji, age 33 years. I'm suffering from thalassemia major. This thalassemia is characterized with less hemoglobin and there is, there is less production of RBCs or others called as vitamins. I started this journey of resilience because I'm a positive person. Despite that I was diagnosed with thalassemia when I was a three month old baby, I had to undergo blood transfusion every 15 to 21 days. So far, approximately, I have undergone some 574 times the process of blood transfusion. The concept of thalassemia stands unique because it is unlike other disability, you cannot make out the symptoms as it is the hidden disability. None of my colleagues, friends, knows that I am suffering from thalassemia because whatever the achievements, accomplishments that I've made so far, it is based on my credibility and my potential and I've not taken any cushion or special provisions pertaining to this disability. It is a complete uh, general competition. In my childhood, like any other kids, even I felt demotivated and procrastinated, especially when my sister who was also suffering from thalassemia passed away and that was a phase of devastation in my life but that's where when my mother who stood me beside me like a backbone and supported me in all aspects and she always said that you are like a ship which is meant to sail through high tides and not to park in the seashore That's when I took the step of motivating the other kids, other fellow brothers and sisters suffering from thalassemia and also got associated with Samraksha Thalassemia Daycare Center where I keep visiting the center and give a pat on the back of the thalassemia patients and make them feel that this is not a dead end. You have a life, you have a better life. In fact, you can spread happiness and positivity and achieve greater heights with whatever the ambition or goal that you have. So for that, the very basic requirement is the hope. The hope is something that will make you achieve great heights and you can come out with flying colors. When I learned that Thanasimo is fatal if untreated, I took up this journey of resilience and optimism and demystified this fact. I wanted to give the message to these kids out there that it is it is not fatal. It is it is not that your lifespan is reduced. No, if it is treated well, timely screening and timely transmission will definitely help improve your lifespan. And that's where I started with uh, more of research and development that I did in this field. I'm a lover of books. That's where I was into this academics and excellence. I did my SS also with distinction, also my pre-university in distinction. I took a Bachelor of Arts and that's also a with a distinction. I pursued my post-graduation in economics. Again, I topped the university with fifth rank. And furthermore, I cleared my NET, SNET in economics and got an opportunity to reach my students in Bangalore University. Again, I took up this competitive exams and I cleared 9 government jobs in a row. And I must tell you, without any cushions and without any special benefits. And I am currently working as sub registrar of Sri Ram Patna, Mandya district, Karnataka. I took up this vision of giving back to the society. Because I always believed in Mahatma Gandhiji's famous quote that be the change that you wish to see in this world. I always believe in prevention because prevention is always better than cure. That's where I went to the nearby schools and colleges and I spoke about awareness about the thalassemia and its traits. In this journey of motivation, I am associated with Samraksha Daycare Unit which is run by Rashtrathana Blood Centre that provides free blood transfusions and free medicines to all the thalassemia patients. And here I come and then I try to motivate them, I give a pat on their back that to have willpower, a ray of hope 
uh, perseverance, determination, to have high self-esteem, uh, with greater victory, you have to come up with flying colors, you have to celebrate your life like any other kids of their age group. So basically I request them, I give them this motivation that you should have a beautiful smile on your face because a smile is something that, ha that is very magical. You can achieve greater heights with positivity. Today, I'm a proud recipient of this national award and my heart is full of gratitude. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to all those individuals my family members, especially my mother, my husband, my blood bank, my blood donors and the Department of Empowerment of Disabilities and Social Justice uh, for uh, who has identified and recognized my contributions. With this note, I'd like to thank all of you for giving me the strength to achieve and inspire. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka.